Spring is back in Missouri, and so we're back building walls in the cabin. Since the last video, we finished up that um, back end wall. Still waiting for windows and a door to put into it. And uh, so today, we're framing up the last end wall, which will be kind of the front uh, front of the cabin going out to a, to a deck eventually. It's going to have a bunch of glass in it, so the framing's a bit particular. Uh, let's get to it. So let's have a look at what's going on here. At the bottom, once this wall is standing up, you have just a, a regular little stem wall that will go all the way out to the edge. You're going to have the, the triangle beam, uh, a rafter I guess, along the edge here. So you'll have OSB or whatever plywood all the way out there and then you have window, 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 window and then you have the top beam or the middle beam in the triangle and then more windows. In the middle you'll have a door and then you'll have the same thing on the other side. This will make more sense uh, once you see it standing up I think. So what's interesting here is of course at the bottom it's pretty straightforward to frame this out to support a window unit but I've, I found that really tricky to do in the center because because I want the studs to run the whole length of the wall so that they can withstand uh, wind forces and whatnot that'll you know push from the from the outside or from the inside. You don't want a, a break in here, but at the same time, you're gonna have another window unit sitting on top of this, and you don't want any of the weight from that to press on the window below it. So you want you know all the weight from this window unit you want on this uh, little beam or this header and you want it to get transferred into here. So normally what you would is you what you do is you'd have little cripples uh, holding up the beam or they're holding up the header but I don't want that because one of the things I think that that's going to make this look really good and the CAD drawings that's made it look really slick is, is keeping these joists really thin so you have lots of glass area and very little of this. So the way I'm doing that is um, basically by the top, the top two by here is going to have a metal brackets uh, anchoring it to the to the studs. So so the top one has extra metal bracing to hold it in, uh, plus of course regular nailing to the studs, and hopefully that ends up being enough to make sure that none of the weight gets transferred down to the to the window unit below it. Worst case, we're going to take the window unit out uh, and reinforce it, but I don't think that's going to be an issue. We'll find out. So that's the first half of the bottom section. This is actually a lot trickier than I thought it would. When you're framing out a wall that's got a bunch of sheathing on it, uh, you're really aided by the sheathing and keeping stuff square. And because here, you know, these openings are, are basically just, you know, except for the bottom part, these openings are, are going to be the way they are, so that so that we can put window units in there, these pieces of fixed glass, and so it becomes much more. You have to do much more work to make sure that the framing itself is square without the sheathing. So I'm going to do a little bit of work on that, and then I'm actually out of lumber, so I'll run to the lumber yard and and pick up stuff to do the next section and the the section that'll go on top. Right, so with this standing up, there's uh, two useful things to say about it, I guess. Uh, one of them is that you might note that this is uh, frame 2x4, which is different from pretty much all the other exterior walls. Uh, they're all 2x6. 
Uh, the reason is it's it's all double pane glass, and so I'm not going to gain anything from uh, the little tiny bit of insulation I'll fit at the bottom. So might as well save the money. Um, and another interesting thing to be aware of is that with these doubled up two by six uh, roof rafters, because they're you know it's two by six, and then there's the the beam. You'll see the you see the beam up at the top. The beam is uh, kind of sandwiched between the two two by sixes. So all in all, it's like three two bys side by side, which is uh, uh, three plus one and a half, so so four and a half inches wide. Um, basically, you know, the two by fours is three and a half inches wide, three and a half inches wide, and so it doesn't end up lining up. Uh, it's the same on the other side with the two by sixes. The two by sixes are wider, and so kind of throughout, in, including the internal framing, that's been a little bit of a, not a huge hassle, but it's something that I've continuously had to have thought about, like how, how, how am I going to line the framing up so that the sheathing will fit properly, and I think that would have been less complex if the rafters were uh, the fixed or the same width as a, as a standard 2 by. Um, yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, leave a comment if you're uh, curious about something or you see something weird. And uh, take care.